What's good guys, today I'm going to be showing you two different methods to be able to stream your iPhone or your Android gameplay into OBS without blurriness, lagginess, just quality. The first method here is for the people that own a capture card. And honestly, this is more of a classic way of doing it, but it still works. Now you can use any capture card you want with this setup. It can be as inexpensive as an Elgato capture card or as cheap as a 10 to $20 USB HDMI capture card. For my iPhone users out there, you'll need to pick up the Apple Lightning Digital AV Adapter, which will plug right into your iPhone, which then you can connect an HDMI cable to that, which will go into the capture card. From there, you need to connect that capture your card to your computer via the USB connection that it offers. For my Android users out there that want to run a similar setup, you can definitely do this, but you're going to need to double check that your phone can output HDMI. Not all Android phones can do that like the iPhones can. So you're going to need to double check that. And if you can do that, then by all means, go ahead, get the appropriate adapter for your phone and run the HDMI out of your phone to the capture card to the computer. Once you've done that, you can go to OBS, add a new source, make it a video capture device, select your capture card, and then you should see your gameplay picture from there. Expand it, stretch it out to your screen so that it looks the way you want it to. If you wanna make sure that your audio is added, just add an audio input capture source, select the device dropdown, and choose your capture card. We also need to make sure that we can hear that audio. So what we can do in OBS is go into our audio mixer, go to our advanced audio properties, and then monitor and output that capture card source. Now that whole capture card setup may not be for everyone. You possibly don't own a capture card. Maybe you don't even wanna pick up this digital AV adapter, which for iPhone users, this is gonna set you back about $45. Another thing is that I've enjoyed using the backbone controller with my iPhone. And if I wanna run this setup with the capture card, this won't even work with it. Not to mention all the wires and cables that you have to plug in. So my second method I'm gonna show you guys today is completely wireless, and if you wanna do it wired, it only requires one single cable. So I present to you the Duon application, probably the best app I've used that works on both Android and iPhone for screen mirroring. This application is 100% safe. The installation process is very seamless. There's no special configurations that you need to set in order to install this. Once you're at the end of the installation page, you can go ahead and launch the application. The first thing you'll wanna do is go to the top middle of the app and create a new account. You can use any email and password combination that you'd like. You will need to verify your account, so select the send code button and go to your email account, put that code from your email into the application and your account will be fully verified. Now, since this application is on a much higher tier compared to the free offerings that you have out there, you will have to get the VIP experience as a part of this app. So you can do $7 for six months or $10 for the year, which is honestly a great deal if you think about how long and how much you'd be using this application. That's a whole lot cheaper than a capture card and an HDMI adapter. Of course, you can use this for free, but it will have a watermark on it. For a wired iPhone setup, all you need to do is take the lightning cable, plug that from the computer to your phone, Make sure that you trust the computer that you plug the iPhone into and you'll see your phone screen pop up right away within the app. And I love it so much we can use the backbone plugged into the computer with this method. If you wanna run a wireless setup, all you need to do is make sure your computer and phone are on the same network connection. Swipe down to go to your control center, find the screen mirroring option, then just find and select where it says do one and your computer name. And from there, you will also see your iPhone screen presented within the app on your computer. Now, how about for my Android users. You'll first need to download the Duon app off of the Google Play Store, but from there, just take your charging cable, plug it into your phone, plug the other side into the computer, and you'll have your screen popped up on your computer. If you wanna do this wirelessly with your Android, you also need to make sure you install the app off of the Google Play Store. Make sure your phone and computer are on the same network connection. Head over to the wireless tab, and where you see device choice, go ahead and select your computer and you'll see your screen pop up within the Duon app on your desktop. You will get a better picture quality if you're using a cable between your phone and your computer, but if you really wanna go the wireless route, make sure that your internet is pretty good. And then also within your Duon settings, you can go to your iOS or Android device and improve the quality of the wireless capability. So instead of it being 1280 by 720, you can make it 1920 by 1080 or just set it to screen size best. But remember, you're gonna have to have good internet so that this quality remains up to par. 
Cool, we got our gameplay. Let's get it into OBS. Make it a nice size on your desktop. Pull up OBS, but don't minimize that gameplay window from Duon. We wanna keep that up and live. Within OBS, I have a scene here for my iPhone gameplay, and I'm gonna add a new source. That source is going to be a window capture source. We're gonna call that iPhone do one. You can see that the gameplay picture has popped up, but in case it isn't, just make sure that you have the do one application selected that you're recording from. I'm gonna choose not to have the cursor in there to give it a nice clean look and then select okay. And from here, I can right click transform and then we're gonna fit to screen to blow that up a little bit. But you can see that we have some of these other items here at the top that we that we don't want from the application. So what we're gonna do is select the Option or Alt key on Windows and then just pull it down. And just like that, our gameplay is looking clean and pristine, but we're not done yet. We need to add audio. So what we're gonna do is select the plus button again, go all the way up to Application Audio Capture. I'm gonna name that Duon Audio, okay and then make sure that the do one is selected as the audio source and select okay and <gasps> the audio's not recording. Sometimes it takes a good old exit and restart to make it all work and it is. On macOS, I definitely recommend checking out Ground Control Caster as that will allow you to record your desktop audio right within OBS. All you would need to do with this app installed is go to your OBS audio settings and then set Caster as the audio device and you'll have your do on game audio recorded. Now we can go to our settings. Let's go to audio. For our mic auxiliary, let's make sure we select one of our microphones, probably via USB, so that we have commentary for our live stream. And we can also add a web camera, either from our computer or from a USB one that we might have connected to our computer. And there I am. Select OK. And I can just move this around a little bit. Put it in a nice spot so that I am looking peachy. And now we're set to stream. If you're wondering how game chat will work with this setup, don't worry, it works perfectly normal as if you weren't even using this setup. But as you can see from the gameplay footage example, it's looking clear, there's no lagginess, no jumpy frames, recording out of OBS or even directly from the Duon app, which is a nice bonus feature by the way. If you're curious about my OBS settings to get this nice footage, this is what I use. My bitrate is pretty high, so if you're gonna be streaming, I wouldn't put that over 6,000, but the rest of the settings you can honestly copy to get good footage regardless. And now you see it's just as easy as that to screen mirror your iPhone or Android device into OBS. If you have any questions, ask me those too. I'm here to help you out. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.